All right. Mzala, Samukonga. We're, we're coming up to the end of 2024. You've had such an amazing, amazing season coming off the bronze medal at the Olympic Games. I mean, what are the initial feelings now as kind of the season's coming to a close? Uh, first of all, I just want to thank the one who's above, you know, for everything. Yeah, no, it wasn't an easy journey, to be honest, you know. But I thank God for everything, okay? Yeah. That's what I see. That's nice. <laughs> I mean, Coach DK, how, how do you kind of reflect a little bit coming off the Olympics, now the season is ending, and seeing everything that Mazala has done this year? Man, um, it's been a fantastic year, I know, because that was my dream as a coach. You know, I lived in America for 27 years. So at one point, I decided to go back home. You know, I, I, I got a scholarship, on, a track scholarship in the U.S. I went to Brin College, then I went to Andrew State. So. After, after school, I studied coach, I mean, I, started, I coached Chris Brown. We won a medal for Chris Brown in the Indoor 400 meters. Yeah, from the Bahamas. Yes. Mm -hmm. So from there, I decided to go, to go back home. And for me to see this achievement in my own country, it's a big thing for me. So I'm so proud of myself first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I dreamed of this one day. Because even Chris Brown told me, Coach, why are you going back to Africa? You know, I want to just go and start from scratch. Let me see what I can do. You know, I said, nah, man, good. You're living good life here. And you just decided to go back home. And yes, I want to go back home and see what I can do. And for some reason, I found this guy somewhere. Here we are now, uh, 2024. It has been a fantastic year. Zambia won the uh, last medal was in Atlanta, Georgia, when I see MG uh, doing his own thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was there watching life, and when Sammy Mateto won a silver medal, and I was part of the coaching staff with him by then. So for me to come and do this again, it, for me it's something I, I will cherish the rest of my life. I, I love that. I love that. And I mean, talking about going back to Africa, being able to like find, you know, him. Can we dive into that a little bit? You're from Lusaka, right? And like, what was it like growing up? I know you had a lot of siblings and maybe you were like moving from place to place with your family. What was that, you know, experience growing up? Yeah, I, the experience was quite, hey, oh, you know, <laughs> hey. You know, uh, I mean, maybe I can dive in for him. I mean, uh, when I found him, mm -hmm. you know, you, you want to want to see this, the situation where he was. You know, it was bad. I mean, sometimes it gave me emotions because <sighs> it was bad. You know, but uh, um, his determination of him, you know, where he lived, and he said, Coach, if you do anything for me, I'll be able to do something for you. So, you know, I had to take over as a parent, you know, as a brother, as a everybody. I was just everything to him. You know, I had to buy everything for him to make sure that he can survive. So I said, I'll do everything for you. I'll spend whatever, anything you want, just let me know. I'll do it. If your parents need anything, I'll be there for you. So let's do this and make sure let's fight it so that we can be able to change everything. I want to change it, your, your, your mother's life, your father's life, all your siblings' lives. I want to do that. And that is my, my goal for you to do. So, and that's how we met and we started working. You know, he was just a young, young kid, you know. You know, I started just bringing him up and telling stuff, telling about MJ, you know, watching him so crazy. I, I know it, it, was, it was just somebody was inspired me, and I took that from him and brought it to him and to see, you know, and look, you can do it, you can change things, and he was able to do it. I mean, it was a bad situation, but we made it very excited. To that everyone now in Zambia they look up to him, and you can be way down there, but if you did, you are determined, you can be able to do it, and that's how this guy came up. So we worked entirely. I mean, this is the guy I go to where he lives. I pick him up in the morning, we go to the truck, we train, that like, okay now let's go to eat. I make sure he eats lunch, make sure, okay, even grab some some of the, 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 the lunch which he left, you can eat at the supper. So he got that, it, I dropped him home, again we did that throughout the year, and here is the results. So it's a very inspiring story when he, 
I mean, I go back, I get emotional on myself because I never thought one day somebody like him can do all that what we did. So I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's really, really deep and really powerful. I mean, Muzala, hearing your coach speak so in depth about, you know, the passion that he has for you, the relationship that you have, like, what, is, what does that make you feel when you hear him talk about, you know, everything that y'all went through? Yeah, definitely, you know, like he said, no. What I said is the truth, you know. Ish. <laughs> uh, I feel that, feel that. It's like, it's like a journey that you've been through. It's been such a journey that you, you both have been through. Yeah, definitely. You know, he has been there since day one, you know. He was doing everything for me. Yeah, and... <laughs> <laughs> Ish. No, I feel that. And did you always have a passion for athletics or was it like, you know, something that you had to get into as you're, you know, he's teaching you all these things. He's like getting you into the sport. Like, when did you really feel that burning start? Like, wow, I really want to, you know, get into athletics. Yeah, I think I discovered my talent when I was in grade four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, through PE, physical education, you know, that's when I discovered my talent. And this, this teacher called Mrs. Mwamba, she was like, no, Mzala, you can run, you know. So we'll be, we'll be running the inter-houses, inter-schools, you know. That's how I started participating. Not until, uh, not until I knew this guy, Usain Bolt, you know, and I started following Usain Bolt. Then I was telling myself, say that, no, <clears throat> one day I'll be like Bolt, you know. By then I was running 100 and 200, you know. I was like, one day I'll be like Bolt, you know. So... That's how we started, you know, not until I joined uh, Zambia Athletics, that was 20, 2018 June, you know, started, I joined Zambia Athletics, started running, you know, uh, I, I joined Zambia Athletics as a 400 meter runner, yeah, sure, and then I started training after this man discovered me, and I know this boy can run. <laughs> no, yeah. this boy can run. Then he started taking care of me, you know, not until I qualified for World Junior Championship, which was in Kenya. Yeah. yeah. And there I, I, I reached in the, what's this, in the final. In the final, you know, yeah. I came out fifth, mm -hmm. you know. Then after, that's when he believed not said that, no, this guy can <laughs> run. I can <laughs> run. <laughs> <laughs> then he started now investing in me, you know, not until today. I mean, that's a, obviously this is like a long journey, but you're still insanely young. Even talking about you just started 2020, you know, 2018, that's like when you really started to join the club. Four years later, you're at Commonwealth Games, you know, 2022, winning a gold medal, right? How, how are you able to, you know, consistent or remain consistent throughout those young years, your developmental years to, you know, get to the success that you've, you know, experienced? Uh, let me just see. I, I, I do all this because of my family, to be honest, you know, and because of this man, like, like I said, he has been there for me, you know, he sacrificed a lot, uh, and I don't want to, to disappoint him anymore, you know, I don't want to disappoint my family, you know, uh, and like I said, that I, I, I do this because of my family. I'm the one who's taking care of my family. So if I start playing around, you know, which means people back home, they will suffer, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I always tell myself, say that, no, Nzala. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to be strong, you know. If anything, a lot of people will suffer. Yeah, sure. And coach, so during those kind of formative years, right, let's say 2018 up to where we're at now, again, he's still extremely young. How have you been able to help him remain grounded to still, you know, have this development, have the success that we've seen, you know, on the outside? Yeah, but, um, my thing is that, because I told him, it takes 10 years to develop somebody to be at the world class level. That's what I told him, that's number one. Scientifically, you have to do 10 years in order for you to become MJ. Uh, Mike Johnson, you, I mean, you have to do that in 10 years. It takes that time, the scientific, but I told him, I want to uh, 
to break that cycle where you can become a world champion within with without going in 10 years period let's do that let's break that thing so that's what i started telling him so look if you the first thing you know commitment that's number one you know let's have communication because what, what i call five c's i call them five c's like his coach was saying four p's you know i got a four p's what his coach says i took that four p's to go and then i got i developed my only five c's is your commitment uh you know you have uh, concentration you know communication and you know concentration all those five c's i thought this is what can make you become world champion or olympic champions you are still young so even for me it's a surprise that we are able to even get a gold medal i mean a bronze medal at this at this stage because i knew our first thing is to get in the finals the next the olympic season you get into you get a medal then you get a bronze. so we define science we have defined science that's always my goal so i tell them all these things like look you get Number one, discipline. Nothing else can do. You commitment in training and listen, trust the process, and that's it. And he follows those things. And the way, you know, it has make it my job easier because I don't have to tell him a lot of things. He always come back to me, okay, this and this. So our communication is so good that we communicate at every angle and we're able to come up with the magic. Go. The magic, the magic is clearly <laughs> happening, clearly working. Yeah. And so, you know, Commonwealth 2022, that was like kind of a, a breakout in a sense where on the biggest stage, you know, he crossed the line, you know, celebrating like crazy. That was a big thing. But then even fast forwarding, I think in 2023, I think it was in Botswana. That was the first yes. time you ran 43 seconds. Yeah. Then you beat out Karani James in that, in yes. that race, right? Yes. Yes. So, Muzala, I mean, for you, did that race mean anything to you? Breaking the 44 second barrier, running 43 seconds for the first time? Yeah, definitely, you know, because I wasn't in the picture of running 43 anytime soon, you know, because running 43 is something else. <laughs> you didn't even think you were going to? Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, it was crazy, you know, I didn't believe it, you know, and by then I had hamstring, you know. Yeah. So I just told myself that, no, let me just go and run, then coach, he said that norms are go and run whatever happens happens you know we can't withdraw we are already let's go try our luck you know then boom 43. <laughs> so it really means a lot to me you know sure and then i mean coach when you saw that on the clock 43 seconds in botswana what what went through your mind oh as i because you see for me it wasn't a very a, a big surprise to me because i knew he is capable, and if it's anybody who can attempt the world record, I believe he's the guy who's gonna do that. Mm. Because, you know, I'm looking at the age where um, Vanike did, he was 25 years old, but he's to 21 years, so I'm looking for the person who's gonna do that is him, because he has got that um, time frame he can be able to do. So for me, when he did that, and because he didn't believe, and he, even if, this year he was asking me, coach, are you sure you can make me run for 43? I said, that's nothing for you. You haven't reached your peak. That's what I told him. You. you haven't reached your peak. No, coach, there's no way I can run for 43. I think that was just a lack of that. No, you haven't reached your peak. Because if you keep on breaking your own time, every minute you break it, that means it's not your peak yet. So your personal best is not easy to break it. So this is not your personal best. So I knew how this guy is going to be. I knew from there. You knew it. You yes. Knew it. And I mean, now at this point, broken 43, I mean, he's run 43 seconds of obviously Olympics just a couple, you know, weeks ago in uh, Rome. So you've been, you've clearly been working it out. I mean, so looking at the Olympics in Paris, right, that was massive moment. That was uh, the first time since 1996 that a uh, Zambian athlete had won a, a medal in any event. I think only the third one for yes. Zambia in yes. history. When, from Muzala, like when you, cross that line, coming from behind, right? Coming all the way back from fifth, sixth place to be able to get on the podium. When you finally crossed the line, you saw your name on the on the big board. Big screen, yeah. Yeah, like, what did you think? What was coming through your mind? Yeah, I didn't believe it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Because <laughs> it was so tight with, uh, uh, who's this guy? You had like Dream Richards. Dream, yeah, and Kiran James. And Karani, yes, so, yeah, yeah. Because I, I was out of the race, you know. I was like, <laughs> Is that my name, you know. 
not no not until I, I i saw there was this the the zambian flag i was like yeah that's me <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. so it was a great moment to be honest yeah like uh it's not it's not an easy thing you know that was my first um was this uh appearance at the olympics yeah. and end up being in the was this uh, middle black it i think it's a plus to me that's what i can say you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. i mean you both have been talking about the importance of like family and you know giving back making sure that you're representing for your family your country really well like what has the reception been like after right now that you're the bronze medalist i know you haven't gotten a chance to go home yet but kind of like have you been hearing from family from friends and everything back in zambia yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 just like, <laughs> they, right now, they are doing preparations mm. of welcoming him back home. So they are doing everything. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm really glad that the government has recognized him, the country has recognized him. So I think they are really, so they just called me that, oh, when are you coming, exactly what time, so they can make sure that they, they yeah. welcome him. So everybody is excited, you know, because it has been long since we got any medal in any sport in Zambia. So, and the football, uh, soccer was the main event, which we had uh, many different uh, sport in Zambia, but now everybody has shifted now to athletics. So it will be a very big event for, for his welcome back home. Nice. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can only imagine the celebration. Yeah. If they're already doing preparations, you haven't seen that <laughs> home yet. Like, I mean, I, I hope you're ready for it. You know, whatever, whatever you're going to be enjoying there. So just a couple more to kind of close out where, you know, you were speaking about he's only still early 20s, has a potential to break the world record one day. Like, is that the goal or do you kind of now, obviously you've got the, the Olympic medal, do you kind of shift things as you're looking forward to the next couple of years? Yeah, yeah. Because for me as a coach, I'm looking at winning the championships, mm -hmm. I mean, Olympic Games. I mean, like, okay, we got the bronze. Now, the next Olympics, I mean, I cannot accept the bronze. I'm on it. It's gold. It has then, to be gold. Then, yeah, we missed the, the, the World Championship in Budapest. Mm -hmm. And then this one in Tokyo, he has to go there now, being now, I mean, he get, it's now, I mean, got used now. His body is getting stronger, you know, because he, and he was, he's too young. In the in, in in the game, so as he's too young, in age, so all those things now it's just gained experience this year. So that next year we are going there with the confidence. Now you can never say, okay, I can. I'm one of those guys now. And being in, in this league, it has just motivated him more. So because he didn't expect it, because it's like winning a gold again. <laughs> you know, being in this league. So for him and for myself, we are saying, oh my God, this is the breakthrough we are looking forward to see. And then. That's it. So uh, the, the, everything is it's up to us now how to to to, to attack this thing. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you already compete. You already compete. You know, very frequently throughout the year. Knowing that you'll be joining the league, you'll get a chance to now run. You'll have like you know set schedule with like four hundred and two hundred. Get to compete very frequently. That, I'm sure that gives you some some excitement for 2025. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I think it will. Two hundred. It will even. Um, boost me you know <laughs> in 400 meters yeah, yeah. yeah sure. I'm, I'm sure you got to take some cues from wade with like he's four or two he you know he's coming off obviously he got the world record he's like 19 eight in the 200 i mean i'm yeah. sure you can get that 20.4 down a little bit yeah i would definitely i would definitely <laughs> <laughs> um so now looking forward overall just like Coming off again, this bronze medal, you got world championships coming up. You're only early twenties. Like, what in the sport excites you the most as you look forward? You know, long term in your career. One more time. So, what gets you the most excited as you look forward? You know, in the years to come in your career. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me dig in. Yeah, I know. I don't know you. What you can say. <laughs> you're still learning. You're still learning. There's so much. There's so much to look forward to. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like at the moment, uh, we are looking forward. To, let me just say to be consistent. Mm. Yeah, that's the main thing to be consistent. consistent. Right. Yeah, we are not rushing to to attempt the world record or like coach said that no, we still have a long way to go. Mm. So we just have to take it easy. Yeah. You know, if it it's time to break the world record 
we can attempt it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. just have to take it easy, you know. It will come on its time. On its own time. Yeah, sure. Well, the consistency is clearly working. You've been showing up and showing out. So, yeah. Yeah. Mazala, thanks so much. Coach DK, yes. really appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. No, Guess you so much. Just one more time. Oh, yes, yeah, good. Yes, I, I mean, we, um, the other thing we want to appreciate is our, our manager, Kuba. You know, this is the guy who, you know, who plans all our schedule. We sit down and plan and make sure we we make sure that we don't ban him in the year. We look so he's the guy behind all what we do, and he, he knows his, his his craft. So we we, should, we just want to appreciate him that um, he, we are for, for for working with us, and you know he's from the states, you know, Gulf Africa. We you know we got together, you know. So it is just something we want to appreciate him for his his work he does behind the behind the scene. There you are. Yeah. Make sure you don't include that in the final. <laughs> 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 I appreciate like the appreciation, right, for, for everyone, even going back to family, going back to country, right? Everything and it's like it really shows, right? It really shows and we can really hear it. So you're making Zambia proud, you're making the entire continent of Africa proud. So good job out there. Yeah, we'll be seeing a lot more. Get some well deserved rest. Thank you. 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 Thank